big research questions that are preoccupying me right now is youth mental health. Um, I have a, a passion for looking at what it is that um, are the risk and the protective factors in our young people in Ireland today. My interest began in this a number of years ago when I was working with uh, Tony Bates who is the founding uh, CEO of Headstrong, the National Centre for Youth Mental Health. And Tony and I had worked for many, many years together. And when he began to work in Headstrong, he asked me would I get involved in their research. And I said I'd be delighted because at that point, a lot of my own research was kind of moving into the area of youth mental health. So once we had decided what we needed to look at, we set about carrying out our national study, which we call the My World Survey. And that was uh, carried out in 2011. We collected data in, on 15, nearly 15,000 young people. In risk, we needed to look at things like their depression, their stress, their anxiety. We needed to look at alcohol behavior. This was a very significant thing that emerged from the earlier study. Uh, bullying was a key risk factor. Uh, other things like their cannabis and drug use, the, th the things that many international studies have already highlighted, but we didn't have data here in Ireland. So we also needed to balance risk with some with protective factors. So we focused in on what makes what's, what protects young people, like their self-esteem, their optimism, their life satisfaction. These are all really positive things. Their, their support structures, uh, how likely they are to talk about their problems. We know that that's a, a very strong key protective factor. So we were providing evidence then to, to, to government and to the HSE to actually rethink what we, we, how we provide services to young people. All the research that I do, I hope, has, will directly kind of either impact how people do things or improve the quality of life of young people. Mm -hmm.